the minimal cut sets uh, let us write out the system structure function uh, in a very uh, intuitive manner. Um, recall that uh, x is the indicator function for an element and the system structure function relates uh, the system outcome uh, 1 or 0 in terms of the uh, element outcomes. Uh, so we would like to uh, express uh, alpha, the system structure function, in terms of the minimal cut sets that uh, we identify for the system. So um, we have looked at this, uh, what the structure function for a purely parallel system would look like. And um, since the minimal cut sets in themselves are purely parallel, so uh, the structure function for each uh, such cut set uh, for the ith cut set ci would look like uh, this, as you see on your screen, in terms of uh, the, uh, the indicator function uh, for all the constituent elements of that cut set. And also, uh, the cut sets themselves, the minimal cut sets themselves, are arranged in series. So, uh, the final system structure function would uh, look like, as we have already derived, uh, the product of the uh, individual minimal cut set structure function. So uh, this would be actually a very convenient way uh, of writing out the system structure function for any system uh, that we have. So um, let's look at the first such system that we, um, we considered a few slides back. Uh, it was a two out of three system and you remember that we wrote out or we claimed that this is how the structure function looks like. Uh, on the top right, you see the block diagram uh, for this system. Uh, now, uh, since this is uh, a two out of three system, um, we, we can, um, we can uh, write out uh, the, the final answer. Uh, in terms of the expression that you see uh, in the second line. Uh, and we'll see that uh, we will try to arrive at the same answer uh, through the approach that we have put in the box uh, in the middle of your screen. Now, um, you might be wondering as to how uh, the two equations uh, that you see are, uh, are equal um, uh, because in the first line, we have we should have uh, sixth order quantities terms, and whereas here the highest order that we have uh, is three. Um, so what, what what happened to the higher order terms? Uh, it's it's not a mystery. If you want to work it out, please do so. Uh, otherwise, the answer is actually uh, very simple. It's that uh, these all these element state functions, uh, the indicator functions, they're binary in nature. So uh, xi and xi squared and xi cubed, they're all the same because uh, it's either 0 or 1. So that's how we can get rid of the higher order terms. Uh, now, uh, in terms of uh, this, this system, uh, there are three minimal cut sets, uh, 1, 2, 2, 3, and 1, 3. So we can write an equivalent uh, block diagram uh, by putting these cut sets in series. So these two block diagrams are completely equivalent. And if you write out uh, the uh, each cut set's structure function and then multiply them together, uh, you will arrive at uh, the system structure function uh, that you see in the second line, which is x1, x2 plus x2, x3 plus x3, x1 minus twice x1, x2, x3. Uh, 